Hey guys, today I'm gonna to talk to you about my top five Chrome extensions just for teachers. So I'm not sure which browser you guys are using right now. Maybe you're using the default browser. Maybe you're using Explorer. Maybe you're using Bing. <laughs> If you're not using Chrome, I'm gonna show you how to download Chrome and then use these wonderful things called Chrome extensions to make your teaching life easier. So without further ado, let's jump right in to my top five Chrome extensions that every teacher should be using. Let's go. Okay, so let me rewind a little bit. My sister is a teacher and she's been teaching for like 30 years and she's like, bro, <laughs> you gotta slow down sometimes and we don't all know what you're talking about. So if you are not familiar with Chrome and you're just using the default browser in whatever device that you're using on, first thing that you should do is go to your browser, type in download Chrome, and it will most likely be the top search result. You go on here, you download the web browser. So with Mac, the default browser is Safari. If you're using your Mac, you might be using Safari. Just download Chrome. The reason that I'm telling you to do this is because Chrome has this really incredible back-end uh, store where you can download extensions to really um, spruce up your web browsing experience. So for teachers, there's a lot of great things that we can use that are Chrome extensions and they're free. And you can see that I have them lined up here on the top where they're just one click away. So what you're gonna do is, if you go into your Chrome Web Store, and again, just type in Chrome Web Store, click on Chrome Web Store, and you see all of these things right here can be added to your web browser just to like make it more productive or more fun. There's all these things. So you can check those out at another time. Today I'm going to talk to you about some extensions that I love to use when I'm teaching. Okay, The first one actually was just shown up there. It's called Momentum it's just like a landing page for all of your tabs. So if you start off a new tab, you can see that it has this wonderful picture right here. It has the temperature, the time, and you can type in your focus. Um, teacher tubing is my focus for the day, but you can put in you know your to-do list right here and it'll show up right there. You can also link it to your um, your actual to-do list if you want or your actual calendar and it'll show you things right there. Right here I love that it has this little uh, quote at the bottom. So every day they have a different quote on here and I love to just see those. There, I'm a quote person. I don't know about you but I love it and they change this picture every single day. So I love momentum. It's not really a, a productive um, Chrome extension for teachers, like it doesn't add a whole lot, but it just adds a lot to my day. So there you go. You're welcome. <laughs> the next thing I want to talk to you about is right here, this little book. It's called Just Read. So if you go into your Chrome store and you type in Just Read, for me it was the top one. It says it's already added. There's a premium version, but I'm just going to use the, um, the regular version. If you look right here, has a little video about what it is um, and then some of the different versions and just check this out. Okay, so let's say we are on, um, we'll go to the, my local newspaper, OC Register. And today, Mike Trout is signing a um, record 12 year, $426.5 million deal. Okay. So we go to this, we see it, and there's some ads and some other stuff going on on the side right here. Sometimes this, oh yeah, see, this embeds some um, videos and ads right in the middle of the story. If you click 
on just read. It will take out all of the extra stuff so that you can just read the article. For me, I like to use this to print the articles so that I can study them with my class. So if I find something cool online, I just click on just read and then I can print and then you just X out of it to go back to the regular article. Just read. Okay. DF tube. Now I use a lot of video when I am teaching. So if you go to YouTube, you know that you have no control over some of the stuff that they put in their videos as recommended. So there could be some questionable things depending on what they choose to show for you, right? And so if I click on, here, let's go over to the Chrome Star first. Let's go back. We'll go, we're going to type in DF tube. DF stands for distraction free. It's already added. Click on that. Click add to your Chrome. So it will be up here on your Chrome web, uh, Chrome bookmark bar. Up here, this is going to remove a lot of the distractions. So let's say I love this guy, FKJ. If you don't know FKJ, he's an incredible artist. Let's click on FKJ. I'm going to um, pause it for a second. You can see that I have all these suggested videos plus some other stuff plus some who knows what the comments might say. If you click on DF tube and click activate, it removes all that other stuff. So no comments. You can see I'm at the bottom of the page now. Nothing on the side on suggested, just the video. So I use this quite a bit because there, there are so many ways that you can do this, but this is just an easy way for me to just take out all the distractions and questionable content that might happen for um, a video that I'm trying to show in my classroom. And it's easy to deactivate as well. So you take that out and then it just I like easy. All right, so the next one I want to talk to you about is called full page screen capture. And it's this little icon with the camera on it. Let's go in here. Let's type in full page screen capture. Let's click on it. And what this thing does, it allows you to take a screenshot of a web page that has many pages going down. So instead of trying to take like a screenshot scroll down, take another screenshot, scroll down, take another screenshot, and then somehow putting them all back together. This thing allows you to take a screenshot and it will capture the whole thing and put it back into one. Let's just say like, um, let's bring up a page like USA Today. And you can see that there are, um, you know, many, many pages to this first home page, right? If we click on full page screen capture, just one click, a little um, Pac-Man will come out and we'll eat these dots. That tells us that it is working. And when it's finished, it'll give you either a PDF or a PNG to, to save. So check this out. And there's the whole front page of the USA Today. So if you look at it there, we can, this whole thing is the front page of USA Today. Or whatever, you know, whatever website you want. This is how you save it in the different formats that you want. And you can see it opened up in a different tab. This is, uh, it was just, I found this thing so useful. I don't use it all that much, but when I need it, it's good to know that I have it. Okay, the next one and the last one that I wanted to talk to you about is right here. It's called Open Blank Page. I have a um, projector that throws it onto my whiteboard, and so that's how I'm projecting my projector onto a whiteboard. And I know that a lot of you guys um, probably have the same setup. What really inspired me to go find this thing was I, I have this... Um, the way that ours is set up, you can press AV mute, but it will also mute my audio. So I have this little microphone system, this Extron micro, my, microphone system. So um, if I'm talking in a regular voice, it will 
even out my voice across the room. So like if I'm talking to somebody in the back of the room, I never have to raise my voice. It's a really cool system, except for when you want to write on the whiteboard. So um, one of the fixes that I had was I created just a little Google slide that is white, and then I just clicked on that. But as you can see, that's two, that's two clicks. It's a click, a slide, and another click. This button right here, you click it, it will open up a new screen, and it will be, you can just write over it on your whiteboard. And what's really cool about this is you can click and, and drag your mouse and change the color of it. So if you go like that, click and drag, it'll turn all the way white if you want. Or, anyways, that's a really cool and useful thing for a teacher that has a projector that is shining onto a whiteboard. It's just called Open Blank Page. If you go back to your Chrome Web Store, just type in Open Blank Page, and it's right there, offered by AN. Click on that, add it to your Chrome browser. It'll put it up here in this menu bar, and it's really easy for you to just go ahead and click on it. Open Blank Page. All right, guys, those were my top five Chrome extensions that every teacher should know. I know there's lots more. If you have a favorite Chrome extension, leave it in the comments below. I'd love to learn from you. And if you like this video and you want to learn some more tech tips, go ahead and check this one out right here.